I have 10 chocolates with me and 3 hungry kids waiting to yap it all from me. The question I have in mind is, how many ways can I distribute these 10 chocolates among the 3 kids? More practical the question gets, the tougher it becomes to solve. That's the beauty of permutations and combinations. In this question, the first thing you should notice is that the chocolates are all similar and the kids are dissimilar or different. If I try to solve this question in the conventional method, I look at it as dividing the number 10 into sets of 3 and then counting all possible ways I can do that and that will be your answer. This is not only time consuming but also utterly confusing. This leads you to two most common mistakes made in PNC. That's double counting and missing out on cases. So how do we solve this question in 30 seconds? Since the chocolates are similar, let me represent the chocolates as zeros. Now if I insert two ones between this array of zeros, I end up dividing these zeros into three sets. This is equivalent of dividing 10 chocolates among three kids. Now if I move these ones between the zeros, I get various ways in which I can divide the zeros into three sets. In other words, I get the number of ways 10 chocolates can be distributed among three kids. I have reduced the question into a simple permutation question now, which is how many ways can I arrange 10 zeros and two ones? The answer of course is 12 factorial by 10 factorial into 2 factorial or 12 C2 because there are 12 items, 10 of which are similar and 2 of which are similar. We have solved this question again under 30 seconds. Bingo! These question types don't end here. I can ask the same question to you by adding constraints now. For instance, divide so that every student gets at least one chocolate. So that a student gets at most 3 chocolates. So that at most 10 chocolates are distributed, so on and so forth. Refer the app for all these variations.